These are risk factors for substance use disorder in residents, specifically anesthesiology residents. The most strongly supported by systemic analyses for risk factors includes the male gender, which is a fourfold increase over females, being an American graduate rather than a foreign medical graduate, and having lower ITE scores by the end of your CA1 year. Additional factors that are mentioned in a task force from over 20 years ago, although these are noted to be anecdotal evidence, include younger residents, age under 35 years old, white residents, people with a family history of addictive disease, and people that are associated with academic departments. There are some important statistics related to substance use disorders and anesthesiology residents. The incident is just under 1%, 0.86% of residents develop some level of addiction during training. Mortality is 7.3% of effective residents that died during their training period. That seems very high. I think that's probably outdated information. Relapse is 43% of cumulative proportion of relapse 30 years after the initial episode. And of those who did relapse, 13% presented with death as the first sign.